As a leadership and as a leader, while you're working through uh, these unprecedented times and you're trying to navigate this wilderness, uh, the issues around race, the issues around the pandemic, the question that I would ask you to think about is what's the story you want to tell a year from now? What's the story you want to hear your people telling a year from now? Because how you lead is going to create a narrative that a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, people are going to look back and they're going to say something about your leadership. So you might think in terms of, you know, what are the kinds of stories that you're hearing? We're hearing stories about ministers and pastors and elders having complete meltdowns, just not handling this well. And then we hear about some doing remarkably well. If you go on social media, you would think that everybody in our world is just in meltdown mode because we are not handling it well. As a leader, I want to encourage you to sit down and write down three things. Number one, as a leader, what is your goal when it comes to the narrative and the story that's going to be told one year from now about you? How you led, how you spoke, the way you treated people, did you keep your composure? And write down some things that if there was a story a year from now that was written about you as a leader during this time, what are the kinds of things you would want to have said? Now, every day in my journal, when I get up, I'm asked to write down my goals, but also I'm asked to write down my projects, my life projects. And one of my key life projects during this time is to provide and be a quality leader throughout. So the first thing is, who are you? Secondly, then, what is the story that you want to have told about your co-leaders, your other ministers, your other elders, your other significant people in the congregation? What is the story that you want to hear about your fellow leaders? And begin asking yourself, what encouragement can I give to this person? What encouragement can I give to that leader? What encouragement can I reach out with to help them achieve the story, the narrative that I want to hear being told a year from now? And then the third level is not just as you as a leader, not just your co-leaders as people and as leaders, but as a leadership team. And I would encourage every elder group, every uh, church group, if you're in a business, get your core leaders in the team and say, uh, what is it? that a year from now we want to hear said about us and put some specifics down about how you get along, about how you strategically work, about how you are engaging the problems that have been presented to you in such a way that you can effectively lead with quality shepherding, quality leadership, calm, composed, during chaos. These are the kinds of leaders that people are looking for. It's going to require some self-care. It's going to require intentionality. And it's going to require you knowing as a person, as a team of leaders, and as a leadership team that you do not have to navigate this alone. There are several networks out there, including Hope Network, that stand ready with consulting and coaching to help you be, move beyond where everyone seems to be into dynamic, exciting leadership as you face these unprecedented times. May the kingdom grow through the work that you're doing and know that what you're doing is very important.